This is The Quest, a computer-style RPG that feels as though it should have come on a stack of five and a quarter inch floppy disks. This is on the iPod, which is about half the size of a five and a quarter inch disk. The first thing you do is create your character. I named my guy Zach Zahn. He's an undead. Why not? Like many iPod games, you can play it vertically, which I found easier, or you can play it horizontally, which is better for filming this review. If you like old-school computer role-playing games, you will love this game. And let's just start here and see how a typical day or two in The Quest unfolds. We're in the dungeon full of Amazon women who are archers, and no I'm not making that up, this game is just that good. The controls are extremely easy to use on the iPod screen, your finger generally does not get in the way at all. You tap on people if you want to talk to them or if you want to fight them. Let's talk to the Amazon Queen. I'm actually on a separate side mission to kill all of the Amazon women, but you know, I'd rather just... well, you'll see. Is she suggesting what I think she is? You know, Zaxxon is... he's undead, so it's presumably been a while. I think I'm gonna give my guy a chance. Well, that's all well and good and I've regained my health and strength and have gotten better at archery. But you know I get a reward if I complete that quest so it's time to break some skulls. This game has magic, it has swords and bows and arrows and hey there's the queen. Remember me? Ah, good times. After I massacred them, I raided their storeroom, got some new armor, some cash. I'm going back to the town to buy some booze and new weapons. Because that's how Zaxxon rolls. After some refreshing libations, we'll speak to the nice lady here and find out what she knows. The quest has terrific weather effects in a day and night cycle. Occasionally when you're walking around, especially if it's raining, it will be a bit jerky, but whatever. This game is enormous and it plays very well on the iPod Touch or iPhone. It reminds me a lot of The Dark Spire that I reviewed recently on Nintendo DS, which was more of a dungeon crawler. This game puts you out into a massive world to explore and find creatures to slaughter. There's an overall quest or storyline to the game and then what seems like an unlimited amount of smaller quests that you can go on. You level your character up, buy weapons and, and magic potions and it's just got everything that a good role playing game should have. And on top of that it has an old school style and doesn't take itself too seriously, it's a funny game. One of my quests or missions is to clear the orcs out of this bridge area. And uh, let's see how this works out for me.
Well, like any good role-playing game, you can pick up from where you last saved. If only life were like that. There's nothing but praise that I can shower upon the quest. This game is terrific. It's great to see games like this coming out on the iPod and Nintendo DS and the smaller portable systems. Games like The Quest and The Dark Spire could never come out on the newer, bigger consoles because they would need to have everything focused on graphics. And I like the old school graphics. This reminds me of the old computer games. They're cheesy, and this is a fun game. Better graphics would make it worse. You can save frequently, and it's an excellent game to pick up and play for a few minutes here and there, or spend uh, half the week playing The Quest.